Hello, this is Dale Pointer at Open Road Outfitters. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what it's like for one person to set up and fold up the timeout motorcycle camper. If you enjoy traditional camping, but you find it's getting progressively harder to get off the ground in the morning, I can tell you that a motorcycle camper adds a whole new level of enjoyment to your journeys. This timeout camper offers the most off the ground covered space of any camper on the market. And when you add accessories like the L-shaped awning or screen room, it makes a long stay, like at a rally, a much more comfortable experience. People are amazed at how much camper comes out of such a little package. So let's see how it works. I'm going to start by orienting the trailer to the best position here on the pad and then drop the jack stands. Now this looks a little sideways on this pad because I'm planning to put up an L-shaped awning and I needed to put it over a grassy area to drive stakes for the supporting ropes. The floor supports open up and lock into place. Then I'm ready to open the top of the camper. This will be the front, the entry, and the sitting area. Next I'll pull out the bed. On the big timeout camper like this one, both sections of the bed open out. That makes the bed area completely separate from the sitting area. In fact, it's big enough I didn't realize I didn't have the whole bed area in this video. The timeout model called the Easy Camper is a little smaller. One part of the bed opens out like this one. The other part opens to the inside of the trailer. Time to unpack. I'll just fast forward through this. You can see I have a fair amount of stuff stored in here. There's about 16 feet of interior cargo space, which is enough to accommodate most of what you would typically bring along. You can also store gear on the camper's hard top and that's a nice benefit over campers that have a soft top. The next step is to lay out the tent and snap it at the corners. This will let me raise the interior poles easily. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, Dale, you've edited this video down quite a bit. What are you leaving out? And how long does it really take to set up this camper? Well, there are kind of two different times. There's a wet setup and a dry setup. If it's dry out, it usually takes me about 10 minutes to do a complete, unhurried, one-person setup of this camper. But if I'm about to get wet, if it looks like it's about to rain, I can get the main tent up and I can be out of the weather in less than half that time, just a couple of minutes. And it's also faster if you're traveling two up because you don't have to walk from one side of the other to do the setup. There are three poles inside that extend and lock into place. It's helpful if you mark the poles so you'll know how far to pull them out and where the button is that locks them in place. That makes the setup go a lot faster than guessing how far to pull out the poles. One bow in the back raises the tent canvas over the sleeping area and the inside setup is effectively done. The last task is to finish snapping the canvas to the trailer. This keeps the bugs out very effectively. I've set up this camper in some seriously mosquito infested campgrounds and I've never had a problem with bugs inside the tent. All right, time to set up house. There are two doors on the front. One is screened and one is fabric. If it's warm out, you can tie off the fabric screen and keep the tent ventilated with the screen door in place. Inside, I have a lot of room. I have about 40 square feet of covered space, not counting the bed area. This is all well supported underneath and it can handle many hundreds of pounds of weight. If you open up all the windows, it's very airy and bright inside. There's a smoke colored window insert that you can raise up if it's raining, but that will still allow light inside. All right, time to move in.
Now that I've set up the dining room, it's time to put the living room together. So I'll put up my chair, hitch up my pants. Maybe that chair works better over here on the right. I think the feng shui is a little better. I can reach through the zipper here to grab a cold drink out of the cooler, and I'm done. How's that tent coming? Aren't you done yet? Well, it was a fun week, but it's time to head out. It was really nice having this L-shaped awning on the front of the tent. This gave me a spot to store the bike, and I still had plenty of room to sit outside. At night, it was cool enough that the bugs didn't bother me a bit, but if you prefer screened-in space, you can attach a complete room to the front of this tent for another 72 square feet of covered screened space. Next, I'll drop the telescoping poles, working my way from the back to the front. After I do that, I'll walk around the camper and unsnap the fabric. With the fabric loosened up, I'll drop that last pole and then begin folding up the canvas. If you practice folding it, you can get it into a nice, compact shape again. Time to pack it up, fold it up, and I'll be ready to go. Be sure to stop by our website and check out the trailer accessories and the complete line of motorcycle trailers and campers that we offer. If you want to learn more about trailering, check out our own motorcycle trailer guide. And if you have questions that aren't answered there, or you need help putting an order together, contact me directly at dale at openroadoutfitters.com. Well, that pretty much does it for this demo. You know, I think motorcycle campers can really add a lot of enjoyment to your travels. And that's certainly the case with this timeout because it has so many different accessories and options. If you're interested, I'll be happy to help you put together the perfect motorcycle camping rig for your bike too. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll catch you soon on the open road.